All right, let's cook some breakfast. Half a cup of portobello mushrooms. Now I like to break them up, so I feel like I have more. This is one whole egg, two, oh, I'm sorry, one whole egg, three egg whites. Got one cup, might to break it up. And this is the second cup. Break this up too. My old ass like the uh, music. <laughs> All right. Remember, I said I don't season my eggs. I season my veggies and everything, though. Oh, hold on. Sorry if I sound uh. Which we call it? It's morning time. And usually when I do these little videos, it's short. So this is a longer video. Doing two of these bacons. These bacons. This bacon. This brand. It's 35 calories for two. What? Stop. You know I had to get it. I'm going to break it up in here. I don't want to eat it on the side. I want to taste a bite, a piece of bacon in every bite. Because I'm still trying to decide if I want to do an omni or if I want to do a, a just a scramble. What I do, my eggs, I spice them up. I try to get a lot of spice in my belly. My dog's black pepper, cayenne pepper. Spice it up, baby. Spice it up. I want my mouth to go. This is my favorite, y'all. I eat this on, like, everything. 
you know, people put it on pizza, I put it on my pasta, y'all, I put it on sandwiches, I put it on everything, I put it on everything, <laughs> I ain't that country, got some onion powder, and I don't use, because I'm not a big salt person, I'm a female, salt is our enemy, y'all, we already bloat, all it's going to do is make us bloat more, Basil, love some basil. I'm almost out of it. And then the nutritional yeast, yeah, gives it like a cheesy taste. It gives it, it's like a really good seasoning, and it's really good for you. Really good for you. And that's all the seasons I'm putting in. I'm not putting any salt, y'all. No salt, like seriously. Only salt that's going to be in here is what comes. Cayenne pepper get in. Activate it. Put some more coconut oil. I also have avocado oil, so I switch back and forth to which oils I'm gonna use. They got high heat. Um, which one call it? Looks good so far, but I think it looks good so far. Smell good. You're not supposed to touch this part of the thing. That's the good thing about having nails. I use my nail to use it. Alright, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to try to show out. A little omelet. Let's see. Let's see what you're going to do with um, omelet today. Excuse me, but that, kind of, that part was kind of explicit. Um, throw some Abby in here. The Abbo. I like the avocado oil. Spray like water. One hand in right now, y'all. I got the bowl in my other hand. I'm about to go wash it out. Try to clean as I go so when I'm about to eat, I can sit down.
Okay. So I did turn down my heat. It was on like, uh, what is that? I was doing it on like medium heat. Now I got it on like low heat. One thing I like to do, put my stuff back in. No, I don't flip it. Y'all know when I be flipping stuff, I be messing up. Y'all see my ice videos. I'm messing up. All right, then we're gonna put a quarter cup of this one, the fat free. Still just as good as the regular. Top one for a little bit. And then when we come back, we're gonna fold it up, let it sit a little bit, and then we doing. Alright, let's see what we got. Go. Inside melted good. Some kind of like to put the laughing cow cheese in there. If I want like a creamy cheesy taste. Beautiful, beautiful. These are crushed red pepper. Oh, yes. I should have put some cheese at the bottom, then put my filling, then put the cheese again, but it's all good. So then the cheese all over. That's how I do the laughing cow cheese. I do bottom and top. It's so pretty. All right, so we're about to take it out. Turn that off. This is usually what I'd be messing up at too. It slides straight out. I got a good pan, but Ooh, it must be because y'all watching me. Ooh. All right, open it up. See it? Mmm, tasty. I think I want a little bit more heat, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do pour a little sriracha on it. breakfast a big old omelet yes all right y'all let's have some lunch i'm gonna do half an avocado um if you can't tell what i'm making i am doing a, um what's that thing called a smoothie <laughs>
And yes, I know there's still a little skin on it. I ain't got no problem with it. these berries the triple berries by them and it is 80 calories for a cup for a cup of the cup this is a half a cup it's a little better to put um the frozen hard at the bottom so the juice and I got my fire this is the one I used I also use it to make sometimes dips or as my sour cream, more like a mayonnaise base for sandwiches or tacos, things like that. And we are going to do a quarter cup, which is four tablespoons. Remember when you're doing your yogurt, especially like your like Greek yogurts. I'm gonna say that Greek yogurts because I'm not sure if it really works with the other yogurts like that. To smooth it back down, that's how you. Because if you ever know, as Greek yogurt gets like watery, that's how you keep the yogurt from getting all watery and stuff inside. And then, and then, what do avocado next? Don't know if I'll be able to get everything in here. And then I gotta put two cups of spinach in. And yes, I eyeball my spinach. I eyeball my spinach when I do it. Not that hard to figure out. Two cups. One cup. Don't be like me and overpack. Okay? Sometimes I do two blends. Today I feel like trying to do one. So I might be fighting the machine a little bit today. Everything trying to come back out. See? All right, let me go get the top and we're going to go. Oh, I'm going to add water to it in my water machine. I know some people like to add orange juice, coconut juice, I mean, coconut water, things like that. Um, I have done that before, but remember liquids. If it ain't water, liquids have calories, so you do have to add those calories in. All right, I'm 
gonna get the top, get this closed down. We're gonna go spin it up. All right, here goes my infamous uh, mixer that y'all know I use for my ice channel. And here goes our mix. Remember, we have the frozen berry mix. It has blueberry, raspberries, blackberries in it. Um, I believe that's it. Faye yogurt. We got some avocado, half avocado. We got kiwis in here. Um, and two cups of spinach and I added a little bit of water. consistent consistency where's my thing over here it was a little thick at first so I added like a teeny bit of water just a little bit more just so I can get that smooth consistency all right here we go let's taste that mm. That one's good. You made a good one. Cause you know, sometimes with smoothies, you can hit and miss, y'all. Promise, promise you can. And the calories on here, I will put up right after this. All right. Hey, y'all. So, I'm just jumping in the middle of this little um, video of what I eat in a day. It's not what I eat every day with eggs. I eat basically every morning, you know. <laughs> That's just, it's easy. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I grab something else. But um, I'm just jumping in just to give y'all an update of the channel. Um, right now, I'm just sharing with y'all all the old videos that I had. And every once in a while, I'm going to drop probably something new inside of it and then also I have 50 videos but only like 25 is opened up and then as we keep growing I will open up the rest of them so y'all can see those too but like I said I will still be dropping some new videos also excuse my hair is about time to uh wet it and let it go back curly but um and um yeah i know i got a pink thing here and i got my new one here but i gotta stretch this one a little further yeah i got, I got a lot going on right now I got a lot going on but um yeah i just wanted to jump in and let y'all know that i decided to do this little video of like what i eat in the day and this is just some of the type of meals i eat because I switch it up all the time, like all the time, for real. But I just want to say, hey, hi, guys. And I want to give y'all an update. Um, 
on the channel and let you know yes new stuff is coming but i want to share all the old stuff first i don't want y'all to skip it and then just jump to new stuff so i hope y'all enjoy my adventures and when i start back recording it will be first party about weight loss and stuff and then we're gonna start venturing out again y'all i know the pandemic slowed me down so i had to stop that's why you see how long the video's been out but i'm ready to travel again i'm just trying to get, make sure my weight is where i wanted to be because i'm ready to jump out of another plane i want to paraglide i want to hang glide there's a lot of things i want to do and you will see it on this channel so i hope y'all are enjoying everything i hope y'all love it if you don't it's okay um but take a chance look at a couple of videos you might not like this one but you might like that one right okay all right y'all well oh next part of this video we are about to go over and make some chicken philly wrap for dinner all right love y'all Hey y'all, so I got the pan on, we are going to use some avocado oil this time, I know I use it for, I use both for breakfast, I just love how this thing sprays, I just, I think I'm only going to be buying this brand, like I said we are doing a chicken Philly wrap, so we got our mushrooms up in here, Onion going in, another quarter cup. Another thing y'all going to need to put in here is going to be the spinach again. I put spinach in like everything, y'all. Everything. Got to keep the greens going. I'm going to put actually add spinach to the Philly mix. And I'm going to add... Baby, um, sorry, y'all, I wasn't thinking. Um, butter lettuce to the actual Philly. And we are for the wrap. We're going to use Joseph's. Joseph's lavish wrap. Or bread, they call it bread. It's 120 calories for the whole piece, which is awesome. also make um pizza out of it too <laughs> make everything out of it get that sizzle going we're gonna put two cups no we're gonna do a cup because I'm running out I have a store I'm gonna do a cup of spinach and break it up And then we are using this. Do anybody use these? This is the chicken breast um, sandwich steaks. I got three left. We're going to use all three. They are 40 calories a piece. And we're using three, so that's 120. If I know my math right.
And I know the steak ones are raw, but this is like really like raw chicken, you know? Like really. So after I do this, I'm gonna run over to the sink and wash my hands and break it up. Looks like a lot of meat, but it is going to shrivel up. Once the meat cook, I'll season it then. I'm not gonna season it before. It's just because I wanna be able to see the meat cook all you do all the way through. Even though I know it's thin, it's like it's gonna cook. I know. I, I know y'all. There's something that I do. But while this is cooking, let's see, get this piece off. I have to hit the pan so much. I am going to use laughing cow cheese and I'm going to put some down on this. Anybody that's seen myself probably like, dang, use laughing cow cheese for everything. Um, I just started to, honestly. Because, sorry, I messed up But I started to because it's less calories than the actual regular cheese. But I'm also going to put cheddar cheese in here too. And you do have to be. kind of gentle well no you got to be gentle with this um this brand of the flatbread because it will break easily who likes a cheesy philly y'all like cheesy phillies i usually like cheesy and mayonnaise all on it mm. i'm not doing any mayonnaise i'm just going to do two laughing cows hopefully the camera's not fogging up on y'all meat is cooking wonderfully Smells good already and don't even have no season yet. How they why they do that at? Them onions.
And one thing I am supposed to be making with this was some sweet potato fries, which I am going to do. All right, I had to deglaze my pan. I wasn't paying attention to it, I'm trying to get this stuff on here, and I had it, had it up too high, of course. Go. I'm gonna put some black pepper in it. Some cayenne. Some garlic. Onion, a lot of onion powder. I like onion powder, y'all. What kind of seasons do y'all like? That's not salt based. That's not salt based. What kind of what kind of uh, season seasons do y'all like? What's your favorite? Got some nutritional yeast up in there. Some basil. Remember, this is chicken, so I'm gonna put some paprika in here. This is crushed red pepper, one of my, my faves. Paprika. I put chili powder on my chicken and my beef. So all my seasonings. And right now, this is done. This meat is done and is seasoned. I got the laughing cow cheese over here on the bread we're going to put the avocado on there and tomato and i'll be back all right y'all let's get this thing assembled i got my avocado down i'm putting these lettuce on it Side that I opened. I'm gonna pack your wrap up, pack it up. tomatoes down first and then fight fight the wrapping process I'm have to fight with the wrapping process y'all I do eat a lot of wraps because I like sandwiches. I like to put things together. And that's me why. I know this thing looks huge. But remember I got avocado at the bottom. Tastes good. Avocado at the bottom. 
I'm going to stop eating. Avocado at the bottom, lettuce, tomatoes, the three chicken steakums, and it has onions, um, mushrooms in it. So it's packed up real good. And we are going to add a quarter cup of that cheddar cheese. All right. Just a little bit of cheddar cheese, quarter cup. Because we already have the laughing cow cheese. I'm not putting mayonnaise, so I'm cheesing it up. And the laughing cow cheese is only 30 calories per wedge. Somebody calling me. Don't know why. I don't know if I should close up the sides first. This thing too thick. Too thick. Mm. No, we ain't close up no sides. We just gonna wrap this bad boy. I ain't worry about no sides. Now let's see the inside of this thing. Look at that. Ooh, I'm about to tear me up some dinner. All right, y'all, so I am about to eat. No, I'm not gonna do a mukbang, but I am gonna take a bite for y'all. And I'm gonna be honest to you, if it's good or not. Let's see. Hold a minute for that. Alright, so for that Philly chicken Philly wrap that I made, it was only um, 571 calories just for that wrap. And then for my snack after dinner, I would have just sweet potato fries with it, but I didn't get them ready, so I ain't doing it. I'm going to do a sumo citrus. These things are so good, y'all. Mmm. And one prune, you know, keep everything moving, you know. And so my dinner with my snack, everything for right now, for this part, is 644 calories. I believe so. But I'll make sure to put it on the screen. And I'll put my calories for the whole day at the end. All right. Love you all. Hope you keep watching. And thank you. Love you all. Bye.